Welcome back, everyone. We're getting into the final match of the day. It's a best of five ZDZ. It is the same best of five ZDZ that we saw two weeks ago in Banch tournament number 14. Buzzbin versus QB. Jamie being her EU alter ego. So this was a very close match last series, and also I had my personal streak of winning, which was ended by Buzzbin and. Uh, QP has always been very competitive in the finals, so this is two of the best players that we have for this match. Mm -hmm. Yeah, excited. It gave some really top tier games. Uh, Buzzman was also nice enough to say since she got NA default first last time, she's going to do EU first this time. So we are on the European server, which favors this person in the bottom right. It is a Blizzard QB. Mm -hmm. And uh, QB lives kind of between Moscow and St. Petersburg, I think, the west side of Russia somewhere. And it seems like our top left player, located to the north geographically and uh, in this game, is our Canadian Zerg, Buzzbin. Hey, <laughs> nice. <laughs> <clears throat> Actually, they might be on the same... Uh, she's north of me, but I'm not sure if she's north of Russia. Oh my god. I just tried to be really fancy, but then I forgot something I learned in like fifth grade, which way is longitude and which way is latitude? Uh, I am not 100% sure at the top of my head latitude is vertical and longitude is horizontal, but Oof. I do not quote me on that. Or time to Google this, I am not smarter than a fifth grader. <laughs> I, uh, I do STEM stuff, so this is like information I should know, but it's just, it falls out of my brain from time to time. That's latitude. That specifies the north south because south position of a point on the Earth's surface. So. so latitude is the vertical one. I was correct. Yeah, yeah, that's what okay, I was thinking. Okay. Yeah, so they're the, they're in the same latitude. Now that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but very different longitudes on almost opposite sides of the world. <laughs> this is where chat. This is where like fifty percent of chat actually knew it, and they feel bad for us. And then there's fifty percent of the chat that didn't know it, but we're going to pretend so that they're cool with the other people in chat. I know what you guys are like. <laughs> yeah, I know that too. I uh, sometimes I see people ask questions in a Twitch stream, and I'm I'm pretty confident I know the answer, but I Google it just to make sure, <laughs> and then I I don't share the answer, and then I see everyone else share the answer off Google that I saw when I was confirming it. <laughs> nice. Yeah. <sighs> uh, there. Oh my God, that's an early bailing us. Oh my God. Uh, they did have a lot of games revolving around Ling Ban Ling, let's say. Like, actually, I think every single game, basically, maybe one of the... Maybe maybe two of the games got to Roaches, but a lot of it was determined off of who took more damage, Ling Ban Ling. Mm -hmm. So we're not getting any, like, you know, relatively well-timed third. Like, they're both taking this phase of the game very seriously. Uh-huh. That's, um, been pretty common for at least the higher-end ZVZs in our tournament so far, the final mm -hmm. matches. My matches definitely have not gone past links very often. Yeah. Well, basically one person a long time ago killed you with like a mass link flood on two base and everyone was like, let's do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, uh, I think this is a little cheating because I did 13 12 twice in a row, but in my last like eight CVZs or something and the matches where I let the other person do a build order, I think I got all in like six games in a row. So. <laughs> It's it's working. Yeah, no, that sounds about it's right. It's not very fun for me, but people seem to be picking <laughs> up on what to do. <laughs> um, so uh, Buzzman sees the third hatchery. She is not going to third hatchery of her own. So even though she got a baneling nest and she did get speed, we actually have a very fast lair here, um, which is going to be scouted, which is something I think she wanted to uh, avoid. Uh -oh. Yes. And uh, Buzzman, she marked. She only had four links, I believe, and she marked most of them into the veins right now. So these, even though this is only a couple of links from QB, these are doing quite a lot of annoyance to Buzzman. Yeah, even like one link in the main, I think, got two drones because the queen didn't uh -huh. kill it. So. Ooh, oh my and god! These double veins as well. Oh, Whew. that one detonated on the extractor, so definitely a lot less damage than Buzzman could have taken. But still, I think she lost two drones from that bane link hit. Yeah. And QB is morphing more veins creating more links, going very hard on this attack. Yeah, Buzzman has full information, really nicely placed overlords around the map, so she knows this is on the way, but she is trying to get to Aspire, which this is going to be, she's going to need better micro than she's shown so far. 
Uh, that's a good start. Two more banelings rolling in though. Uh, they're gonna go. These uh, two banelings are so threatening on the natural round. They're cutting Buzzman off, so these yeah. wings in the main can do so much. Well, the queen is in that nice position. It's got like uh, seven lings something. Uh, uh, that was almost an amazing baneling hit, and it was still a really good hit. Uh, the queens, there's only one queen left. That's where things get really tough. You can't focus on the banelings mm -hmm. anymore. And the spire was even canceled. It has to be rebuilt in the natural. Things are not looking good here. It was a very dangerous decision to go for a two base spire against QB. So it almost mm -hmm. feels justified. Yeah, this is a very strong attack from QB. She even got her own third and has begun transitioning with the lead that she's just created. But Buzzman is going to tap out already. Um, yeah, I, I, I know Buzzbin was doing a lot of faster muta builds, and we saw her barely defend, for instance, with like spine crawlers. But this game, I, it was it was just so open. Even if she had started building spine crawlers, QB's attack was so quick that she would literally still be building spine crawlers before. Uh -huh, really yeah. Um, the in my opinion, the very unfortunate thing that happened there for Buzzbin was because she. She started with so few lings for QB's very first poke. She morphed like all her lings into bands, and then she had to use all her bangs to clear up just the handful of lings QB had. Yeah. So then she was behind on lings and behind on bands when QB started showing up with her own bands in the really committed part of the attack. Yeah, that's a very good point. She, you know, the first three bane lings she made only went off on like one or two <clears throat> lings. So. And also, uh, QB got a very good. Like the run by up to the main ramp and then blocking off all of Buzzman's lings with her own bands. That was like very well executed, very powerful move. Yeah. Uh, might be deterred from trying that again, or it might be a sneakier spire, you know, one that's protected by a wall with, with a roach one at the front. Um, if she really wants to push the spire angle, anyways, she could change it up. She is back on the NA server, so maybe that was also. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah. uh, Ping Bane is one of the, probably the worst matchups for having high ping defenses. Yeah, I mean, I always thought that it was. I think I think Protoss players made some arguments about PvP in certain metas of that matchup. Uh -huh. but... I think force fielding, force fielding suffers a lot from ping, and that can definitely be important in some meta games. Yeah, but uh, ZVZ is sometimes literally decided by one bailing hint, so it can be really tough. Now, uh -huh. QB is much more accustomed to the ping. I think Buzzbin, like, when she played, she mentioned uh, two weeks ago that she just never plays in Europe, whereas QB mm, has been yeah. forced to play here from the uh, the get-go. Uh -huh. so. QB is, uh, she's been powering up in the hyperbolic time chamber, so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She's already prepared for this. <laughs> exactly. It's the best analogy. <clears throat> is that the hyperbolic time chamber of, like, StarCraft Two training is, like, training with ping? It's like training with weights? Yeah, yeah, I, uh... In my, in my career, I used to play almost exclusively on Korea, and then most of my professional matches were on NA. Mm -hmm. And like the transition from the latter environment to competitive environment, it like felt like all my issues would just disappear. Yeah. I mean, that's how like Neeb, when he became really, really, really good at the game, he was playing on every single server, every uh -huh. tournament he could. Um, yeah, that yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Having a. When you only play like one server, one tournament, one setting, you get really used to the ping and the playing conditions that you play under, and it can be really hard to adjust, but mm -hmm. someone like Neeb, who uh, is now traveling the world all over, playing very deep into a very prestigious tournament, so yeah. it's definitely a way to become like the best of the best. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, it's also a way to burn yourself out, which it Yeah, yeah, that as well. Travel. Point. Travel can be very rough. Oh. Um, bit of a different opener here. But in the bottom right is the red Zerg up one. It is QB. Uh, and in the uh, top left, again, to the north, it is our Canadian Zerg husband. Both players going with a, a hatch first again, just like last game. So likely we're going to go into what? a similar kind of Lingbane situation, perhaps. Yeah, I mean, I agree with that. I just, the, there's uh -huh. like slight differences here, right? We had a, I believe it was a 16 hatch for Buzzbin, QB 17. And then we had a 16 hatch 
uh, 17 gas, 16 pool, which is like one drone less than you really would expect for a very basic ZVZ opener. I don't know if that's really gonna mean anything. I've seen some ZVZ players actually go for like this all in where they go for a 15, 15, 14, and I'm like, okay, that's a thing, I suppose. But this is like very middle of the road <laughs> kind of deal. I don't even know if it's gonna result in anything other than her just preparing for uh, the worst. And in this case, the worst being QB going for an all in. Really cool. <laughs> the chat is asking, well, you specifically, actually. Uh, can someone tell if. Can you tell if someone's going to mute, going muta based on gas timings? Which the answer is yes. But then he accused you of only going muta in ZVP. Is that true, yes or no? <laughs> That's, uh, to you, Atelia. Oh, I keep pushing my push to mute button, sorry. I'm so used to having a push to talk button. <laughs> no, um, okay. In Heart of the Swarm, I used to go against Protoss and against Mechtaren. I used to really like Muta Stormhost playstyle. Oh. That was one of the ones that I... That was, like, my favorite time in StarCraft 2. I know so many other people hated that period, but... That was really enjoyable for me personally. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. You do. You do. You then. <laughs> uh, I also. Uh, I also play Link Banors without building a Bane nest. So like. Yes, you do. I, I clearly enjoy suffering. Yeah. I was. Yeah. It's very like. I remember. I mean, it must have been you, but also like a dozen other NA pros back, back, back in the day, like 2011, 2012. They actually did that, but. Anyways, uh -huh. old stuff. Old times. So we have a very quick Roach Warren, but it's a very, it's a very odd situation here. You know, like I don't think the slightly earlier pool gas thing really developed into much, but what is developing is a fast layer Roach Warren, but without the wall that you'd usually see with an evolution chamber, right? Uh -huh. So I, I'm actually not a hundred percent sure if I like this. Strategy. I feel like this play from Buzzbin is kind of vulnerable. The Roches can't really defend the third and there's no wall off like you mentioned, but QB is, uh, she's going into her own Roaches in her own lair. So it seems like neither player is really investing into the Loom Bane. Mm -hmm. It seems like every time I, I predict a build order, they don't do it even if it's very common in the matchup. <laughs> yeah, right. It's that usually you 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 do because if you don't wall off as Buzzbin is not doing, but QB kind of shows you where this could lead if you need a wall off. Mm -hmm. If you don't, like you're just kind of opening up to someone who is going for speedlings, which QB obviously did. She had plans uh, other than roaches, but she decided not to go for like a ling all in. She just matched her opponent, so she's gonna get slightly later roach speed. But if you're defending, sometimes that's not so much a problem. She's gonna have plus one, which will eventually be. Uh, greater. She also has more drones right now as Buzzbin is gearing up for an all-in, and I guess this was her plan all along. Uh -huh. um, the plus one missile attack that QB is invested in actually makes a really big difference in Roach fights. It makes Roaches die one auto attack faster. Mm -hmm. So I think it will be finished by the time Buzzbin arrives, which might make a very large difference in this upcoming fight. Yeah, which is why you all like commonly see, again, if Buzzbin's doing more the normal thing, what, what QB's doing, she could be doing it slightly faster because it was this was her plan. QB's more of a reaction type thing. And, and if that were the case, that would be a huge difference. But without that plus one hitting as, as QB's plus one finishes, defender's advantage, all that good stuff, like I really think that QB's gonna take a uh, huge advantage here. Like absolutely uh -huh. huge. Buzzbin's army is slightly larger, but like you mentioned, um... The defender advantage, the faster reinforcements, is this fight right here will decide so much. It seems like Buzzbent has a vastly superior army that's trading very well, but QB has reinforcements, she has queens. It looks like this is still going to do quite a bit of damage, Buzzbent's attack, and she's going back into drones behind it as well. She should, as uh, she was significantly uh -huh. down. I think that QB would have been a little better off letting her have to take more damage. She, mm -hmm, perhaps. she, she lost seconds. all the queens, but she uh, didn't yeah. lose any thrones, which was very good for her. But she actually has no queens alive right now, which is uh, quite a big issue. Very good point, yeah. I, I think she could have bought more time letting the hatchery take more damage. Because it was a 10 second difference that was, you know, five extra roaches defensively. That was the plus one being two seconds away from finishing. But as it mm -hmm. is, while 
you know, Busman has recovered her economy. She had about a 30 second window where she was significantly down. So this is where QB uh-huh. really starts to reap the rewards from that. And she is up in the armor supply with plus one. Yeah, and QP has been, she built some Ravager, she's been building more Roaches. It looks like she's gonna try to go for a counter pressure with her victory and also her plus one attack advantage. Um, Buzzbin is scared of this, she's built this fine in her natural mineral line, she's adding them to her other mineral lines as well. Yeah, it looks like she's scared of tunneling claws. Yeah, yeah, I would agree. Mm. Um, QP's army is definitely much stronger, even if it's just all in one place though, with the Ravagers and with the upgrade advantage at the moment. Buzzman's trying to catch up, but she's uh, still behind right now. Yeah, not much you can do about the upgrade, just just buy time and... Mm-hmm. QB hasn't invested in a, a second upgrade of her either, either, so this army that she has right now is very large, but she's not she's not attacking behind it. Well, the spine colors in the, in the mineral lines might not... I mean, one of the mains kind of suspicious. The, the other two are doing work here. This one's helping. Uh-huh. Uh, the one's helping against the, the Roach little tag-along squad, and this actually isn't going so poorly for Green Zerg, but she needs uh-huh. more units ASAP. QP, uh, in that fight, she moved, I think she had three Ravagers off to the side, and Buzzman didn't do it targeting them down, so they got a lot of damage in. She just, uh, she just caught the second one just now, so she's making sure to get them a bit better at this point, but this Ravagers definitely helped make the fight better for QP. I think that could have gone a lot better, you know, if she hadn't had four roaches to the left side dealing with a spine crawler, it didn't actually end up getting that many drones. And uh-huh. um, yes. maybe add like didn't let the the spine crawler in the third deal any damage. Uh-huh. Maybe she's you know steamrolling right now, but that's uh, been uh she caught the ravagers, so she reset that and she's kind of on the counteroffensive, but it looks like looks like this counteroffensive is not going well for her. She no. started her plus two slightly earlier than QB did. But QB has also resumed um, her upgrades as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it looks like she'll keep the advantage, even with a slightly slower plus two. She's looking for an attack opportunity. There's not really a you know an obvious one. A ten army supply difference is a fair advantage, basically. But Buzzman takes the fight uh, away from her home, and she doesn't actually have that many queens anymore to even help out here. But she does take a lead in this fight. Uh-huh. Like that was very really convincing. Yeah, Roach fights, because Roaches, they do so little damage and they have so much health. Whether you have like a big Roach fight in an army makes such a huge difference to who comes out on top in the fight. Because each Roach is so stubborn to kill and does like such a small amount of damage that just having more is a big difference. Mm. Uh, Things are looking a little scary, but they both, every time they try and counterattack, it's like that's the time the other person has like Mm -hmm. 16 Roaches suddenly pop out, so... QP is doing a, a very good job. She's been adding a few links as well as her roaches, and her links have been getting a couple counters in like the natural mineral line now that the spine is dead. She's done a good job at picking up queens and drones during all of this other harassment, uh, big army battle type situation. Mm-hmm. QB has taken a now significant army supply after that fight around the choke went really quite her way. The plus two mm-hmm. is like, oh, it's like 20 seconds away from finishing, but Buzzman's gonna lose her army before that actually affects yeah. the game here. This is another fight where Buzzman's army was quite strong, but QB had three Ravagers again that uh, Buzzman didn't have any response to. And like we were mentioning, the, the roach swings are so big. QB just like had slightly too many more roaches that that fight was very one-sided. Yeah, it was really like a Buzzbin moved to attack the natural to the choke and realized she couldn't, but she was already getting like partially surrounded. That's when he saw the huge dip off of the army supply and QB just took Oh, we that. stay on the server, right? Not yeah. Watching. Yeah. Okay. Unless Buzzbin wants to be even nicer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we're, um, QB is at a 2 0 lead right now, right? So she's at yeah. match point for the series. Buzzbin has to win three games in a row to be able to come back. That's going to be tough, especially because it really feels like QB... It, it felt that way two weeks ago, so this is not news, but QB seems to have a handle now on how Buzzman plays. Um, mm-hmm. It's a little bit off-kilter, it's a little bit different, and that was throwing her off two games last uh, last tournament. This time, she's not losing any games. In the uh, the last tournament, I didn't actually watch the whole finals, but were the, the games that Buzzman won, were those the earlier games in the series, and then QB turned it around towards the end? Uh, they actually, it went, 
it went uh, Buzzbin QB, Buzzbin QB, because they won on each other's servers, on their uh -huh. own servers, and then QB was able to pull it out on the final NA server. Okay, so, so. That's, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Much more of a back and forth than what we have right now. Hopefully, maybe we'll see that change with this next game. I think Buzzbin might have just habitually gone to Europe. <laughs> She's too nice. Yeah, so I, I definitely tried to do the same thing. I'm just used <laughs> to changing servers after games. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll go and ask her if she means to. Server choice. <clears throat> QB real good. Yeah? QB's real good. She's, uh... I don't know exactly what her MMR is. It's at least, like, at least 5.3k on EU. I think it's higher at some points. And, uh... Mm. She told me her like her goal is six k, so I think if she puts in a lot of work, that's that's quite good and that's quite attainable. Mm -hmm. uh, could you go ahead and tell her to uh, tell QB to get over to EU? So yeah, she says she let's wants keep to play it consistent. On EU. Okay, okay, that's so nice for her. Yeah, right. I told her she is uh, coming. So Buzzman, uh, putting herself at a disadvantage here, potentially, with the ping issues while being behind on the series. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, it could it could be just you know, she wants to be an upstanding uh, competitor. Uh -huh. It could be that she's like, ah, you know, who really cares? Like, I'm, I don't know what she's thinking, but... Maybe she's, uh... Maybe she doesn't feel confident that she'll win three games in a row, anyway. Maybe she feels too right. far behind already, but... We'll possible? definitely see where this goes. Fortunately, as I said, it's not looking like she's gonna... It looks like a lot of the tricks that were throwing QB off are, are just not working anymore, and we're on Automaton, mm -hmm. which is her map choice, but this is a, a map that... That Ling Floods are gonna be especially good. Even if you do, like, a very solid Roach Wall off, it's a very large wall. So I don't know what her <laughs> plan is here. I, uh... I'm pretty sure I lost her on this map during the Ling Flood, so maybe that's mm -hmm. her plan. I think I'm, uh, so. I'm also pretty sure I beat QB on this map as well, doing Link Floods in the past, so... <laughs> I this think is quite a good map for it. This is what the people do on this map, is generally uh -huh. the thing, so... I I'm guessing that's what she's gonna throw out here, is, is like a very, very fast two-base Ling all in. Um, that's why we're gonna watch and find out and see if she can take a map back in the bottom top right. Uh, no directions. The it bottom is... top right. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, the Green Zerg, uh, Buzzbin. And uh, in the bottom left, we have our Red Zerg, our Russian Zerg, QB, who's currently leading the series 2-0. So she's on match point, uh, reigning champion of the Banshee tournament. Yep. Maybe gonna continue her reign today? I'm feeling it. I think so. Once again, have that slight difference of openers. The 16 versus 17 hatch. <laughs> you were, um... You were talking about this a little at the beginning of last game, but what exactly do you think the difference is? I basically always go 16 hatch, which is just a habitual thing. It's not like me thinking it's the best, but it's just what I've always done. Yeah, the, um, I mean, I was actually confused when people started doing it with, uh, like a year and a half ago or something, because it, it, cause the queens already pop out so close to each other with uh -huh. a 17 hatch, but... No, like Zerg, you know, pro Zergs are like, no, it just, it, it means it's, they're exactly on time with each other, which is a big difference <laughs> when defending against the early pools. And I was like, I'm going to take your word for it. I'm not a pro Zerg. Yeah. I, uh, I think that becomes less of a thing the more mistakes you make, because especially if inject cycles, like if you miss it by just the tiniest bit, then being in sync doesn't really matter as much because you're missing them anyway. Mm. But if you're like at the very top, I can definitely see how that would have an impact. Yeah. Um, but what I was talking about specifically last guy last game was that like you also you go like sixteen hatch and then sixteen fifteen on the the gas pool and it it's really hard for the the other Zerg player to figure out that you went slightly earlier on that like maybe they can tell the hatchery because of the creep spread compared to their own <laughs> but getting in the main doesn't actually happen so until you have lanes anyways so like sometimes I see like really strong all lanes off that because they just assume that it's everything's above above board but it's an all in I've seen like once or twice and this is not what our, our green zerg's doing in fact we have a roach warren which i think mm -hmm. i think this is actually the weakest all in you can do on two bases as a zerg player in zvz 
but maybe you. I think it. it. Um, I think it depends on the map a little. Some maps, mm. sometimes like Barrow Roach off one or two base can be strong on maps with like a very short rush distance, but uh, and like very tight chokes as well. This map is very open, so maybe the roaches aren't as good. And also, it doesn't look like um, Lesbian is going to go into Barrow, but she's trying to keep the information hidden with the queen while off on her main ramp. Yeah. QB hasn't seen this roach worm yet, and it looks like she's not going to. But she'll she'll see these roaches popping out of the egg of her queen, of her wing lips, which it didn't. She did it! So this, uh, this might be a big surprise to her. So here's where I think uh, Buzzbin, like, is hoping would happen is that... Okay, so third base goes down. That's already, like, nice, but it's also expected. I think she's also hoping that QB would react again with like a roach warren and not build any lings. So her roach uh -huh. would be later and maybe not even out by the time she showed her roaches, right? Because uh -huh. that's what happened last game. But the reason I don't like this as a two base all in is that mass ling actually does take it on. If you know yeah. it's coming, you can build enough lings to kill it. But she doesn't I know. I feel like the situation, it has pros and cons for each player. Like QB investing in bane lings, for example. Bane lings aren't really what you want exactly against these roaches. But, okay. um, Buzzman's also very vulnerable with her move out as well, and QB has a lot of very mobile units. So maybe QB can buy time or counter or something, we'll see. Yeah. It looks like QB is gonna go for a, a head-on defense, and it mm -hmm. might be hard for her, but maybe she can pull it off. Yeah, the, the, the roaches should be clumped up, which is the, the good thing about using Valens against them, and then the Lings come in. If they split, that means the Lings gets around, so it's it's... It's not exactly uh -huh. a win-win, but there are, are uses for banelings against roaches, right? Uh -huh. um, so that's what she's hoping. One of my uh, my main criticisms with the banelings, I think they are very strong if they can hit, but they're very slow, and the roaches can like kite them and target them down as well. Yeah. So it can be difficult to use them effectively. This seems oh, like a, oh. a very good fight for QB though. Yeah. And she, uh, well, that's gonna be it. She actually. got some very very big family hits and then she also got a very good ling surround at like the same time yeah uh obviously yeah, so. like the the difference could literally be that qb didn't make 10 lings to begin with and didn't see the roaches like and it was droning right like she's making uh -huh. all drones with that and that would have been maybe uh, a good enough attack if that were to happen but qb did a normal zvz thing and still went out against what should have been a much stronger attack which is i just personally don't think it's a very strong build and qb absolutely shut it down showed why maybe it's not the greatest now is not gonna be able to break the roll but i think it's not the best build on this map specifically i think there are maybe cases or players where it could be good against uh yeah well it's like it's one of those builds that there are builds that just like maybe aren't great nine to ten times but the one time it uh -huh. works it's like important right like yeah yeah recently in wcs puck cannon rushed to protoss and we learned that every the protoss that he practiced with he lost against it like he actually just like could not make it work but it's like the one time in wcs he made it work and that was the most important time so uh -huh. yeah. more power to you but this is a very uh difficult thing to come back from keeps on three bases higher drone count it's four evolution uh -huh. chambers which means four drones were yeah. lost so husband <laughs> she uh after losing those roaches, she kind of made this wall out of a panic defense to make sure she didn't die. And now she's mm -hmm. going into mute up behind, but she's she's limited herself on two base, and her economy, as you mentioned, is behind. QB's taken her third. Yeah. So where this game goes from now will really depend on how much damage Buzz and Speedos have done versus how well QB can deflect them to see who will be like ahead in the coming minutes. Yeah, yeah, the Immunas are going to be a surprise. Now, QB has done a great job in this series deflecting some weirder stuff, case in point, the roaches, but mm -hmm. it's possible she has forgotten about the potency of the of the, the Muta swap, which is what killed her, I think, like, on this map last time they played, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. My memory is okay. actually that good. But, uh, okay, this is really important. This will now give her uh -huh. just enough time to get sport crawlers. She sees the Immunas right at the moment they pop out, so... That's not quite the the optimal. Maybe you would want to see it at like Spire zero out of one hundred seconds building, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it's very good. Yes, that's gonna give her options to. She could buy time to her sport crawlers if they weren't done. They're very close to finishing. Uh -huh. This is the buying a lot of time. The as well, yeah. The slink counter is buying a lot of time for her to get up her spores. She's building a looks like two in every every base. So that's very very sturdy defense against the mutalisks. Mm -hmm. And with two spore crawlers per brace, she doesn't really have to build any extra queens. Um, just put one at the front, which is exactly what she's doing, so you can 
collect your hydras uh, later on and not have them be snowballed on. So mm -hmm. pretty much tip top defense. And she's uh, like you mentioned, she's adding hydralisks. She's been uh, adding drones up as well to get her capitalize on the fact that she has a third base. That's an advantage that she has, and she's utilizing it. Uh, the mutas are getting plus one, so I, I assume and I want Buzzbin to go into like mass beta because I think that's really the only thing that's going to complicate the game enough to have her come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I don't think you can go into roaches and compete at this point. I think QB is already too far ahead if she was to try to do the same strategy. Mm -hmm. Now, Talon Claws is going to be a, a way to get past this. You, know, you don't notice their, their graphical upgrade, your mutas are killing the fourth base or something, and suddenly they're pulled back, which gives the breathing room to build the Hydras, and also might just do a lot of damage as well. So I think this is how QB dealt with the one of the Muta games too last time, and it worked out very, very efficiently. So we don't see uh -huh. any spore crawlers, don't see any detection. If they burrow The tunneling home. claws is, uh, besides just like keeping the Mutas occupied, which is very good on its own, Borrowing Claws, Tunneling Claws, is very good against Mutas because it has such a high life regeneration and the Mutas oh, yeah. do some, like a small amount of bouncing damage. They just like, the Roaches are very sustainable against Mutas trying to clean them up. Yes, yeah. You, uh, I, I forgot about that, but as soon as you saw Mutas try and tackle them, you'll like, you'll be like, oh right. Like that's just, <laughs> that's just absurd. Yeah. Like, if there's like a Muta flock, you can even, if you're really good, or you have enough roaches, you can just like borrow the roaches that are getting targeted, and they just don't die. And they're so, they're so sturdy. It's kind of an absurd <clears throat> healing regeneration. So, it doesn't seem like it was noticed. We don't have any spore crawlers. Um, yeah, there's, they're, they're, they weren't noticed, even though you can see the, the upgrade. Although I say that, and the overseers was right to them. Uh -huh. So maybe they were noticed. So, um... Husband's bringing her mutas back to the office. She doesn't quite have enough roaches, it seems like. And it also looks like she's uh, she's going back into her own roaches with roach speed and plus one missiles, but still getting plus two muta missiles. So she's doing mm. quite a few different things right now. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's not promising for me. It's, as you said, like if you do the same thing and you're behind, then you're just behind, so. Uh -huh. And in this um, case, she's like splitting her focus, so it's not strong in either department. I think in this situation, I think your Muta flock is maybe a bit too weak right now, but if your Muta flock was slightly stronger and QB kind of skimped on Hydralisks because she saw that Buzzman was going back into Roches, maybe the Mutas could like swing a fight by killing all the Hydras on their own. Mm. But if QB builds a big Hydra ball, which it looks like she already has, she has a pretty decent one, she's going to over 20 of the ones that are in production right now, it will be really hard for the Mutas to be effective in a Roach battle. And she's got onto a hive, so even if the mutas were a serious threat to a ground army, a couple parasitic bombs would change that right up. Uh huh. Yeah, I agree. I think that um, I guess Buzzbin she skipped her baneling nest with her early opening. So in this situation, if I was playing, I might try to go for baneling speed and banelings mm -hmm. and just mass out on mutas and try to get like the very very lucky dream baneling connections on the hydralisks. But she's not going for that play. She's going for the the Roach Muta play instead. Yeah, that's what I was thinking might be a better call. And just something different. And uh, in this case, QB didn't go for Fungals, for instance. She did go straight to Parasitic Bomb. So that's where Banelings maybe do get that really nice connection because they're not Fungled. Not mm -hmm. going to be... She's, um, Buzzpin is actually... She's getting plus two missiles and QB is still only on getting plus one missile. I'm not sure why her upgrade is so much further behind, but uh, Buzzman's Roaches will actually be quite a lot stronger. And these Muta is picking off the main hatchery, too. Yeah, Vipers are a little late to the party. Although they're here now! Oh. There we go. Oh my Couple god. Couple oh big god, parasitic bombs. Oh my god, she split. Split. Oh, oh she did god. split. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Uh, so the Vipers all died, which was good for Buzzman, but uh, those splits were slightly too late, slightly slightly not the right units, and like almost all of her muta flock is gone. Yeah, that was 14 mutas that just went down there. So I I would think this is the time for her to at least start positioning around the map. There's no reason for her not to start poking around, I feel. Now there's only like six mutas left over, but uh, she's still staying at home. She's waiting for lurkers. So you're talking about those upgrades, and I think this might have been a case of her just forgetting, honestly. 
Um, uh-huh. She is kind of kind of make up for that, which is like raw power. The lurkers uh-huh. will dominate a head to head fight. Yeah, both players are, even with the muta loss, they've been replaced with some more roaches. So both players are at max, but Busbin's army, even if it has a an upgrade advantage, QB's army has so many hydras, has uh, lurkers. It's I think QB's army is definitely much much stronger in this situation, even if it doesn't look like it by the numbers. Mm. Oh, another parasitic bomb? Yes, indeed. And uh, a really big uh, roach run by in the third base of QB, taking this down as well. This is uh, nice stuff, but oh, maybe getting trapped here. The lurkers, Ooh, one of the The overs are getting picked off as well. I think uh, I think three lurkers were just killed there very early in the fight, but mm. QB got the overs here, so now Buzzman can't kill the remainders. What? Picking up one that was on Burrowed, so that's a fourth lurker. This roach attack has caught uh, QB very off guard. Yeah, it has. This is actually a really good game considering how far behind it felt Buzzbin was. She's now really racking up that drone count. Meanwhile, only a mm-hmm. couple drones go down over here to QB's harassment. Uh, far greater attack for our Red Zerg, but now she has the arm supply lead and she should just go across the map and use it. Yes. I saw um, I saw five lurkers die in that roach counter, so that was like very good at picking off the important tech units. But QB still has her... She has her big Hydra Ball. She really? has a couple of Vipers that are consuming her energy right now. Oh, she's... And uh, Buzzman is still still stuck on just roaches. Yeah, but it, it's weird, but like the, the best possible scenario for her is going to probably be base trading and continuing to find those lurkers being unburrowed, trying to react to things. Uh-huh. So a, a head-to-head fight will Ooh. not go well for her. She invested a bit more mutas, maybe to try and buy time, but these just ran into the Hydras and died without accomplishing anything. Very unfortunate for her. QB's army She's, uh, is so much got a lot of her rest done, but yeah, QB's army is QB is very behind on the workers, but her army is so large, <laughs> and that was a, a very big blinding cloud as well, blocking I... out basically the entire Rush army. Actually, I'm like, I think she should have saved it. I don't think she. Uh-huh. I, I think, I think maybe save it for the fight because I was already on like a choke. Buzzman was already retreating, but mm-hmm. I think it was still a, a very well placed blinding cloud. Well, she won't have another one. She she can. Yeah, yeah. She uh, she used two blinding oh. clouds there as well, not just one. So that. She has the overs here. Ah! <laughs> nice. That's actually really good. Uh, she has two lurkers, and the lurkers are so powerful. Now she has five. Yeah. Lurkers are so good against roaches with like how small and clumpy roaches are, and also the bonus damage and the splash. Yep. GG. I. I look up, like this is props to, to Buzzbin for even bringing that game to a point that it was is getting a little questionable. She really was not in a good position after losing all those roaches. <laughs> yes, like definitely. Four minutes, five minutes. So, <clears throat> GG. QB does take the 3 0. And as such, the crown here, the full amount.